Mike Angelo here to tell you guys how to find the speed or tempo of a track. Um, typically this would be like an instrumental or something, but for the example I'm going to use my latest track, Demo First Sight. So I'm going to highlight the track that the beat is on. First I'm going to change this view up here to custom view because I can see I like more details that way. So then I'm going to go left here. And what I'm going to do is make sure the beat track is selected, then go to the plugins, metering, BPM counter. And then you're going to press play. You usually probably want to just fast forward to when the drums kick in so it has a better gauge. So here we go. All right, so it's about 78 and a half. Let's test that out. And when you're testing it out, you want to make sure the click is on. So I'm going to click up here and then click, click. <laughs> so now we'll hear the tempo. Alright, so I like to make sure the kick is in line with the uh, downbeat. So, best way to do that. We'll actually start our song later so we have more room to move things around. We'll drag this over so the kick starts. There we go. Now the kick's lined up with a bar. There we go. So yeah, if you get the kick, the first kick lined up with uh, the beginning of a bar, then you'll be able to match it up with the click. And in this case, it, it looks to be about 78.5. I'll play it one more time so you can hear the click along with everything. Yeah, so 78.5 seems to be it. And uh, that is really the cornerstone of having these uh, sessions is knowing the BPM is because you can make perfect cuts, you can split things, move them around, switch different song sections with each other, like this, for example. So I'll switch these. It won't sound completely as intended, but it'll still kind of fit because we got the tempo BPM, so it fits to a grid. See that transition was seamless. That transition was seamless. Let's check it out up here. 
Rhymes is always running through my mind like zoom. Yeah, right on beat. That's right on beat, so we know our tempo is nice. And now you can make edits precisely, and your plugins, time based plugins such as Echo, will work how they're supposed to and how you want them to. Uh, that's a lot of, that's one thing people don't think about is the Echo um, when they're recording sessions without knowing the tempo makes things a lot harder so <sighs> once again this is Michelangelo hope I made things a little easier for you with this tutorial don't forget to subscribe to why not on demand by clicking our channel below and check out my SoundCloud soundcloud.com backslash Michelangelo And we'll see you soon with more tutorials uh, and more cool stuff. All right.